And so we are back with Wolves and Gromit in Fright of the Bumblebees. Uh, in last episode of... Oh, well, last time I played, I... Kinda... Yeah, the story so far. Load. Yeah, my voice was kinda echoing because I had both the microphone on and the uh, microphone was also in listen from my headphones because the earlier program I used required that. So, basically what I need to do now is find... I need to find... Hmm... I have that already. Energy item Strongium, okay. We have to find these things. Let's go! Wait! Careful, Wallace. You're heading into hostile territory. The enemy has clearly landed and most likely set up camp in West Wallaby Street. Who knows what the blighters have done to our once peaceful neighborhood? If you make it back alive, you'll have to give us a full report. In the meantime, eat your protein rations. The protein will keep your strength up, especially if you're captured. Brave lad! We'll keep the home fires burning. But I kinda needed that. Hmm. The living room doors stuck. Oh right, it's a storage room now. Okay. So I need to find a way to get mm, Grotein without the... Uh, Mmm, last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. I see. So he likes cheese. So I need to get one of those ration thingamajinxes without him making me eat it. What's that? That looks like the flyer I picked up in the hall. Why would Gromit throw away an important piece of correspondence like that? I don't know. Silicon flowers. Can't feed those to my bees. They demand the organic variety. Of course they do. Hmm. Do we have here? Nothing. Nothing really. Um, okay, uh, I guess now we can move to different places then. Like... Through the back door. Aha, I see. It's empty. I could have sworn there was a tea bag left. Hold on a minute. Strongium. That's one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Quick Grow Muscle Formula. I need that tea bag. Yes. It's got squirrel tracks in it. That pesky rodent must have been at me toast again. He certainly is crackers for toast. Big Cold toast. toast. Shame to let it go to waste. We are going to trick the squirrel with that. Squirrel. What's in here? It's a comfort oh. to know we're well stocked with biscuits. I already forgot. God damn it. This. Oh. Okay then. Um. I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. Oh. Okay. What was that good for? Take this. Hmm, raw 
water's all right, but growth formula would be faster. What are you on about? This. Take this. No. Okay. What about this? Why? Ah, hello. Um, would you like some toast? Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Thank you. What are you looking for exactly? You're persistent in your attentions this morning, Mr. Wallace. Um, could I have the tea back, please? Uh, I wonder, Miss Flit, if you would be so kind as to, uh, hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace? What tea bag? The one on your, um, uh, ooh. Are you feeling quite well, Mr. Wallace? Could I just... How about you give her some cheese? She's already had her breakfast, surely. Come on, give me that. What is it, Mr. Wallace? I need that tea bag. I see no tea bag. Right, uh, oh, there. Where? Oh, uh, uh, sitting, um. Sitting? On your, um. <clears throat> My what? <clears throat> the man is quite mystifying sometimes. God damn it, boys! It's just tea bag. Now then, which ingredients am I still missing? All Energides of them. Energides and strongium. My task is thirty-three uh. and a third percent complete. It's 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 right in front of your eyes. What is? The tea bag. Tea bags again, Mr. Wallace. If you just look down, Miss Flit. Maybe you'd better go and lie down, Wallace, until this silliness passes. You're not making any sense. God. Perhaps you'd like to give the purple pansies a sniff. You'd have to uh, lean over, of course, but. I see no point in leaning over and sniffing my purple pansies. I'm giving them the cold shoulder until they decide to shape up and bloom for me. Uh, they say that the blooms lower down on the plant give off a sweeter scent. Is that so? Uh, yes. You'll discover if you lean way down... The that... topmost blooms are perfectly adequate to my needs. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, they say that the blooms look. Is that Cut down. Uh, the topmost. Hmm. Just. <clears throat> Tea bags again, Mr. Wallace? No. For crying out. Take the cheese! And drop it in here. Bit pointless, that. Uh, is uh, the topmost? Hmm. God damn. <sighs> well, these few uses. No, we are not going that way. We are. Where the hell are we now? Ah, Mr. Wallace! Huh? That looks like... Can it really be... Cheese? Indeed it is, Wallace. Benchley Dale, your favorite. And... Am I to take it that these are... Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. Did you just eat and the one for later? 
forget, Mr. Wallace. Fifty gallons by sunset. Yes, yes. Pity it's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. Now, so that's a fine-looking post box. It would make a good chassis for my honey-powered vacuumatic, but that's tomorrow's project. Yes. For now, we... Where the hell did I... Okay, let's go over here. Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. God damn. Hello. Hey, old Wallace, love. How's business? So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Oh, you've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> Oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. That'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse my husband. He's a right misery gut sometimes. <coughs> indeed he is. I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes, and I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing be what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, teething problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. <laughs> a diabolical device. You can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. So, first thing first, I do this. That won't help. Oh, missed. I already did that. Fear not, my. Hmm. I was right about this heap of scrap. <laughs> it's wired for wickedness. I'm going to need a remote of some sort. We've had our little chat. And? I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Hardwired for criminality, I'd say. Well, if it isn't Wallace. I had a notion he'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Can you see f Not also when I tried to... It only was approach. Well, I'll have another... Ch God oh. damn it. I ain't... I didn't want to... God damn. No. Leave. No. Time! I don't have it things yet. No change, I'm afraid. And its moral compass seems to be badly malfunctioning. I do wish my Sniffer 3000 had given a better account of itself for Constable Dibbins. But how could it without its remote control? Indeed. How do I... Let's go back home. Your game saved. Okay. Let's go and find ourselves a remote control. 
Is it here? The remote control for my Sniffer 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. Indeed. I wonder if I might trouble you for one of my protein bars. Thought I gave you one already, but never mind. Terribly kind of you. Indeed. Now then. Mm. I need to. Did I forget to carry mine? No, everything's in order. If we're going to make that honey delivery, we're going to need a lot more flowers. Hmm. Now, how am I going to... Wait! Heading back into the thick of it, are you? There's pluck for you. Did you remember to eat your gluten bar? You'll thank me if you're captured. Heaven! And return with your shield. All on it. Hmm. Back. Romit, old chum, slip me that grotein bar Major Crumb gave you. You'll do no such thing, Private Romit. I gave you your grotein bar for the day, Wallace. I won't have you catching another from the enlisted men. That's all very interesting, Major Crumb, but I wanted to ask you Don't about... mind, Wallace. I'm in the middle of a story. Have some cheese. Not helpful, that. Another grotein bar? Yes, you see, try to make this one last. Can I use it on you? Not a good idea. There's the... Can I do anything with this? The Magnatronic Pollinator is the linchpin of the operation. My workers get their rations mechanically. No foraging in flower beds for them. Now then, which I no, I didn't. <clears throat> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit, off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Best useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or name, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. Uh, uh, now, there's a sight. That's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that monster. Big Betty, we called her. The gun, not your mother. As I said, I was... <coughs> what a face! That's me kitted out for heavy combat. That helmet took many a dent before the war was through. Without it, I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Never go into battle without a regulation helmet like the one in this picture. Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. 
France, a soldier, always a soldier. Something you civilians will never grasp. And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I were recommissioned and had a proper helmet with a cute little brim, and if I could find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. Give me this thing. Ouch! What did you expect, Wallace? You can't snatch a soldier's helmet like that and not hear about it. My workers are very devoted. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? By George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. If you know what I mean. But I haven't been recommissioned. How do I recommission? Not on. Okay, so basically what I need to do next is your protein bar. Courage, man, courage. Hmm. How do I recommission someone? I need... I clearly need something to... I'm afraid my bees don't go for silicon flowers. What about this thing? My porridge gun could prove fatal if it fell into inexperienced hands. Oops. Hmm. I might find the answer to my problems here, but searching through these books would take me all day. So, I need some way to trick him. This has probably been an awfully boring episode since nothing has happened, literally nothing. Oh, uh, wait, wait, I found cheese. flowers in here really I hope my hmm I'm going to go over here quickly and try to do the mouse finger magic okay have you brought it mr. Vallis hold your horses she Wallace, love. How's business? Nothing I need. Drop by any time. Well, well. Luke goes back. A return to the scene of the crime, have we? Yes, now I'll talk with my mom. Uh, it's not malicious. Is that so? And sometimes it's short. Perhaps it does. Why, why don't you try... <clears throat> All right. Once... Now we are going to use the remote finger magic and You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Oh but I had to give him the cheese. Look at me when I'm talking. Don't know why I bother. I'm too soft me. I'm going to give you the cheese, and then I'm going to... Why do I listen to you, Wallace? Hello. Would you like some cheese? Fancy some cheese, Officer Dibbins? Don't mind if I do. This cheese 
It doesn't come with strings attached, does it? Not string cheese, no. It's Gorgonzola. It's an attempted bribe, that's what it is. I'm watching you, Wallace. Have some... Have this cheese! Not sure how I'd pull that off. Constable... You're very... Oh. No. I'll be... Time we had a little... God damn! I need to throw it into his helmet. Blasted impertinence! Okay, and now we are going to throw the cheese into his helmet, and that's about that's for that. Haven't awakened. The last of this nature. episode. Okay, take your helmet off. Take the helmet off. Wipe your sweat. We officers of the law are trained to even cheat. Especially cheese. Take your goddamn helmet off. Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. No? Throw it in. Now, Constable D you're very insist. Only I've made. Oh. I'll be the judge of that. And now we are getting somewhere. I am a genius. Genius. You there? Yes. Prisoner, kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. more like it. Now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's <laughs> got feelings after all. Now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? <laughs> well, I'll be done. <laughs> the prisoner has been interviewed, yes, and having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody, provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Energized. And your game is saved, which is good, because this is the end of this session for me. I am Finn Dragon. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone.